Hi guys, I just want to show you very quickly the easiest way to embed uh, images in your Canvas discussions. So here I am in my Canvas discussion. I'm going to hit reply right here. Scroll down in my window a little bit and I can type in my own words, right? I'm going to type my response here. And then I can drop down and hit this embed image button. And you'll see there's options for embedding an image from URL, embedding an image from Canvas. That's a little more complicated. You have to go open another tab and upload it to your own files and then pull it in from here. Um, so that's an option if you need to. Um, Flickr is also an option, although sometimes blocked, but sometimes you can find images in here. But I find just the easiest, most direct way to get images that I know that um, the other people in my discussion can see is to go to URL. So I'm going to open another tab and go to Google, because I like Google, that's my preferred search engine. And I'm going to look for a vector image first. Go to images. Don't just take the first thing that comes up on Google. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best. It just means that it is a popular one that's tagged that way. Um, you never know the um, creator of that image or the host of it actually might be paying for it to come up first. So really look for an example that is correct. And not just because it says vector, but because it represents what you've learned about a vector image. So this one catches my eye. Sure, I want to share this one. So I'm going to expand it. I never really do anything with the thumbnails. They're too little. So I expand it, and then I just want to right-click and choose Copy Image Address. I'm in Chrome, which I recommend. That's the browser that I show with all of my videos. It works best with our network. And I'm going to go back over to the tab where my discussion is and place my cursor right into the box that says URL, and I can either go to edit and choose paste or do command V. Alt text you can in, in, um, describe the text for accessibility so vector image of La Lady Gaga and you can specify the aspect ratio but what I usually do is just hit update and you can click on the image scroll to one of the corners and just scale it up or down depending on how big you want it and then you could say you know here is a vector image and then I could hit return and do the same thing for a bitmap and then you'll see once I post reply it will show up. Occasionally you will find an image that once you post it doesn't show up and that pretty much just means it's blocked and you have to go find another example. So thank you for watching and I'll see you online.